Hi, it's my time to shine. Um, the reason that I'm doing the video here is like this is like a black box. Um, it's a lot of people aware that I already went and got my um trauma center um established with um the IRS. And if people have been following me or people that know me, I'm trying to have a trauma center for children that was victims of some type of um, sexual assault in their life or some type of trauma in their life. I'm trying to open a trauma center from the ages 5 to 21 because the mental health crisis that's in this world here, um, in the programs they do have through Medicaid for like low income parents or people that's middle class can't afford so much of therapy because it's very expensive. Um, I'm trying to offer a trauma center where as though we have limited counseling, we have um, open recreation, we have after school activities, we have trips, um, we are have safe um, trips um, far as safe tips on um, when you know you going through something and maybe you need somebody to talk to. I'm trying to establish where as though I'm open 24 hours a day. Um, it takes time. It takes patience and it takes help from others. Um, as me as a woman, I don't really, I'm going to keep it real. I don't have no friends. All my friends is dead. Most of them through violence. Um, the ones that act like they're my friends, they're not my friends. Friends help you build up something. You feel what I'm saying? They see your vision with you. I don't have none of that unless they kind of like authority figures or people that may knew me or people that I don't know but they're from outside sources do you feel what I'm saying so right now I'm just um building up my financial being for the trauma center and I have a quite enough save just for my trauma center um I'm doing things the way I'm doing them for reasons um I got different accounts with different things and my trauma center money don't get touched no matter what um I'm trying to open in different locations um, I'm trying to have pools not in every location. I'm trying to have a rec center in there where so you could play sports tennis I want it like to be like the, like basically like a YMCA but kind of like more tuned to victims of some type of um, You know some type of uh, situations in their life that's children um, I will have it whereas though I have it open for the public for certain events, but my source is to like help children that's victims of some type of crime in their life um because they go through a lot and children to me is up to age 21 um because people you know don't understand because they're 21 they grown not everybody some people have issues um some people don't understand life fully um i'm trying to take in males and females um for a lot of that um, interactions, males and females will be together, but depending on what they suffer from, it will be different groups for different situations. Um, I'm trying to have one-on-one um, -on -one, one -on -one counseling for some and some people that don't mind group. Um, I dealt with some things in my life, as people know, uh, even with my child, and it, it, it takes a toll on you and it, it turns um, people to drugs and other situations. Um, it may not happen now, but sometimes that shit can happen later. So I'm trying to like build and work up something with it. I have people that that's saying they go on help, and I know things take time. You know what I mean? Because this is a, a big, and I'm starting this out. I'm trying to start it out on my own. Um, I'm not really trying to collaborate with nobody unless whoever I collaborate with is already up there, far as their finances, and they can help me and join forces with me. But I don't want nobody taking my trauma center myself because I have certain things in order already as far as what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is like asking everybody um, because people is like really stingy. But when it's parties and bars and drinking, everybody like to put money towards that. But people don't want it to put towards money for children or they lie to get money for dumb shit. So nobody could call me for nothing because I'm like done with that because I got to work on things and plus might be work on me buying me a house as well and moving from my surroundings. But at the end of the day, um, I'm asking everybody, um, subscriber, viewers, not subscribers, I'm asking for a dollar donation. One dollar donation 
from people that subscribe to my channel, watch my channel. You may not be subscribed to my channel, whatever the case may be. I like one dollar, um, donated to my cash app. My cash app is dollar sign. It's my time number two shine. When every dollar come in, I'm not gonna cash out every dollar, but that's going to the trauma center um savings account just for the trauma center where do i get interest on it um and i'm asking for that for people because everybody like, oh i want to always do something uh da, da, da. okay give back to a man D person um a man <clears throat> a man D purpose remember my teeth i just got more work done today give a dollar one dollar i ask from everybody i don't expect like people that's always worrying about them 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 to contribute a dollar because you can't even get a dollar from them but I'm talking about like real people that thinks about others besides their self. I'm talking about everybody that be on a block all day and you want to shine, you want it is, or you 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 want to do this or you could do this and do that. I'm asking for one dollar to my cash app from everybody. Bottom line, like you don't give a dollar, that's fine, that's on you. But I just look at it as like that's on you and Devon. I'm asking for only one dollar. I'm not asking for two dollars. I'm not asking for three dollars. Um, one dollar. That's all I'm asking, and it's gonna be donated. It could be today, it could be tomorrow, whatever. Just one dollar. Um, I have people that I do readings for that don't even tip, so I don't really expect them to do anything. But my thing is, when you get readings from people, you always supposed to say thank you or appreciate it or something in that, you know, token. It's kind of rude not to, you know, tip, and it's kind of rude not to, you know, you know, be appreciated. Um, that's why I stop readings for all the months. And start it back up um, because at the end of the day people don't appreciate divine gifts they only look out for their self or whatever they they want done or what do done or what done or whatever they up to well I see things clearer than what I could see in anybody nobody could trick me with no bullshit I'm not trying to hear nothing like I'm just done with it I'm focusing on like seven different things at one time. Yeah, I know I'm getting surgery. Yeah, I know I'm doing this. I know I'm going through all this. But I wrap myself at work, not in gossiping and coming outside playing all day. I don't have time for that. Um, literally, if you was like a bank and see my accounts, you'll see why I do what I do. Um, I when I was younger, I had time for play. If I want to do something, I get on my trips, like my ten day trips. I do. Other than that, I really don't have time for play too much. Or go in my backyard where it's fixed up so I can have peace. That's where I'm at, and I have a granddaughter now that I'm putting my focus in. I got to worry about my mom. I don't really got time to worry about others too much because they don't worry about you as well. So I'm asking for everybody, you know, um, to donate $1 to my cash app. Um, if you feel as though that's something that you want to do, you can do. If you don't, you don't. Um, that's you. Um, that's like the four of pentacles, being stingy, like bottom line. Um, my the dollar definitely is going to my trauma center. I'm saving up, even though I'm going to end up. I'll keep that to myself. But at the end of the day, I'm still asking for donations for the trauma center. Um, yeah, that's what I'm working on, and um, it's called Trauma Recreation Center RCV, just like my name. Um, so bottom line, that's what I'm doing, and I'm working on it. And I'm just trying to it's take your time. Yes, indeed. Um, because I got to get board members. I got to trust people, you know, because I wanted to go nonprofit. So it's like, it's a lot that I'm trying to do. I got to figure out how I'm going to do this. Um, it's going to take time. Yes. But that's my goal here as well. So um, I'm not going to make this long. I just ask of you um, that anybody, you know, to donate $1 to my cash app is for the trauma center. It's going to go into the trauma center. For people that don't give, a dollar is not nothing. Um, so that is show the divine that, damn, you can be given. Because a lot of people don't know about give and take. People was like, oh, I always give, give, give. It's not about you always give. You got to give and take. Um, if you're not balancing and both of them out, you're not doing divine work, bottom line. So when people are like, oh, I ain't worried about getting up back. Well, you're still not balancing out. You It's give and take. That's how the divine do it. And so people understand the divine. They're not really going to understand their place on this earth right now and a lot of people going to be lost and that's all ages i done woke up i've been woke up so like i know what give and take is i know how to be nice to people i know how to make sure people birthdays right i know how how to um, join some birthday parties even if i have something still gonna tell somebody happy birthday 
people don't do that they just got their hand out all the time so me personally i'm worried about my surgery my birthday is what i'm getting my surgery and then my plastic surgery that money is on the side so like i'm not worrying about certain things because i get what i want already whatever somebody else give me it will be great but you know but i asked for a dollar donation one dollar that's it to my cash app bottom line if you want to send it to the paypal you can also do paypal as well whatever whatever you want to do you want to do zelly whatever it's all in my um application on youtube if you scroll down to about me you're going to see where you can hit all of it the cash app you could go over any video and you'll be able to hit that get the link and just send one dollar that's all i ask is one dollar bottom line one dollar from everybody that's not a lot um dollars add up that'll go to what my trauma center and then i'll be able to you know continue to still move forward i'm just asking for this from others because i'm like wait let me see is, is people gonna want to help with something to do with trauma for children because like we got a lot of stuff um literally i was making it for mol for molestation children but i said no i'm gonna have a recreation center for all victims of some type of violence because you might have saw your mom get killed you might your dad might got shot or something like that and you a child you're going through something too so it's going to be for everybody with some type of trauma in their life how i'm going to find that out that's why i'm gonna have to have caseworkers so we can figure out who's real because i'm not going to have people in there that say something wrong they not with others that do um another situation is it's going to be no foam act in my recreation center a lot of people don't want to be in pictures um because they don't want people putting stuff under their pictures now we we'll have a we we'll have a group time whereas though if you want your phones you could get your phone and you know we have to sign a waiver but you're not going to be able to have your phone in a wreck unless it's all fixed up and we got signatures because everybody don't like that and this is a center for people that dealt with some type of crime in their life or trauma so they might not want pictures they may not want to be on twitter so you got to respect people so i'm trying to work on all that um i got to bring in some board members i don't have nobody in my head as of right now bottom line um that's not lazy timely and gotta be on time and and i don't want I, you have to be drug free like bottom line i'm sorry you really have to be because i am and if i'm doing it i'm doing all i should be selling it but i'm asking you to be drug free because that's just how it gotta go here you can't come in there high you can't come in there drunk um because these children are probably already been through this so this is this is going to be their their heaven is what i want to make my center so if this is something that you don't mind doing you know for humanity purpose i ask everybody to send a dollar in I will resume readings tomorrow. I had more work on my mouth. Um, my body hurt too. And um, I had an infection. And they had to pull one of my implants out. And it had to heal. It's a lot going on. I'm on all these meds right now. So, and I got to go deal with my body. Then prep myself up for surgery. So, I just asked for a dollar. Tomorrow, I'm going to get on some reads. My mouth hurt a little but the pill in me but i don't feel like going downstairs and starting reads for the day so i got y'all you know how i do so i just ask everybody just send one dollar um i'm going to try to go before i post this and go get the outline of what i'm doing so that could be connected to the video and then you may see what i'm doing um i thank you all for all the people that's going to do the dollar um for me i appreciate it um this again is for the trauma recreation center for children that has some type of uh, there was some type of victim of some type of assault in our life and I'm trying to open a trauma center that has a pool rec room counts limited counseling you feel what I'm saying um activities food trips uh, watch TV after school programs and things like that for this church for these children because they need it and I'm trying to expand worldwide um, if that's something you're interested in with me or you want to talk to me about that you can reach me at RCV real estate broker at gmail.com as well um and we could discuss it um if you're trying to talk to me about that as well but i like everybody to donate one dollar if you can i'm not asking for no more i'm not asking for every month i just ask it for one dollar to the organization i literally appreciate it and i hope everybody have a blessed week peace light and blessings